This is especially if this is just for a personal project where you don't own these images. I literally searched like tiger PNG transparent background, panda, elephant, whatever you're looking for. The interesting thing about Google is like, it'll say transparent background, but this is white. You see, it's actually not a transparent background. You might have to like go into the actual website and then download it. But I like to move quickly. So like, I just keep on select. If I select this one too, and it has this like checkered background here, my Google search right here. And it's also here, that means that that checkered background is also going to be in your image. So here's my tip, what you wanna look for. White background, but when you select it, it actually has that checkered background here when you select it. That's how you know it's actually a transparent image. When people first start working with this, like trying to get a transparent, they're like, wait, why aren't they transparent? It's really irritating. So anytime I wanna work with an image, let's bring in a rectangle here. I can literally also go straight from Google and drag and drop that guy in. Now, if that's not where I wanted him, I can double click to get into that particular layer and make it smaller so that it fits that shape.